a cold and blustery afternoon at Boothbury Park. It must seem a million miles from Montego Bay for the two reggae boys. And here is Rotherham United Scott heading the ball crossfield in her first touch in a whole city first team shirt for Ian Goodison and there's one as well for Theodore Whitmore the two of them involved in the very early stages here now is Goodison captain of Jamaica a year ago but he's lost possession here to Rotherham United and it will be a Rotherham throw and Ronnie Moore says that Rotherham's season really started in the wake of two defeats by Hull City in the Worthington Cup he gave them such a rocket and they've really responded well to go top of Division 3 now Brown trying to thread it into John Eyre this is Schofield he too looking for air. who does win it now and he won it cleanly and it's in towards Brown and it's put out for a corner kick good defending by Brian Wilsterman It'll come in from Gareth Williams, the captain of Hull City today, uh, with David Doria only on the bench. First time shot there from Whitmore. Picked up now by Steve Morgan. And a decent looking cross ball here, well held by Pollitt. That's why Ronnie Moore says he's the best goalkeeper in Division 3. directed there and it's found a way out to Trevor Berry and the cut in is towards Fortune West Scott with an opportunity wastes it well rather disconcertingly maybe from uh, Hull City's point of view it was the ball lost by Whitmore in midfield there which nearly proved so costly Berry away down the right hand side when it was cut back Fortune West uh, couldn't get a touch on it it came through to Scott and unfortunately for Rotherham, he's missed the target. So hole going nowhere particularly at the moment. Now Goodison finds his countryman. Greaves. Harper versus Scott here. Whitmore and Goodison. And uh, first shot in Hull City colours free in Goodison. Well, he once scored a highly memorable goal for his country. That was uh, against Mexico back in 1996. So he's looking for his first goal in English football. 30 yard effort from Ian Goodison, much too high. Better moments for these for Hull, who've been on the back foot for much of the game so far. Air. And for Williams, who's in an onside position. Hull have only two in the middle. They have three loitering just outside. And they're taking an awful long time to do anything about this. Again, it's Whitmore. Good skill. Theodore Whitmore into the area now. Can he crown it? He'll slip it for his colleague Goodison. Back in. Oh, how close can you go? It's snaked wide of the upright. And the Reggae boys were nearly singing there. Neat skill from Theodore Whitmore in the first place. And it could have gone anywhere. The ball almost trickled into the path of uh, Goodison. And his attempts just got the merest of deflections and it bobbles wide of the upright. Yeah, the one to pick it up. Brown's calling for it in a forward position. It didn't get through to him. Stab to safety. Oh, and Guy Branston there has lashed out very unnecessarily on Brown. And he could be going off. He is. And that's absolutely right. What was he doing? What was Guy Branston thinking of there? Oh, and he's just lost his head completely. And the 20-year-old defender who is on the fifth game of a loan spell from Leicester City walked off, still fuming, but that was utter stupidity. Well, they've not conceded a goal in the games he's been playing for Rotherham, but they'll have a test on to preserve that record now. Brown was down on the ground and Branston just lashed out and it seemed totally unnecessary and I'm sure that Ronnie Moore will have a few words with his young defender when he gets back to the dressing room because that leaves Rotherham with ten men for a half and a bit Whitmore nice short ball for Harper Schofield entering the fray Tries to play a 1-2 and to get into the area. Taken care of for the moment by Wilsterman. 
and then Air looks to cut one back corner kick well certainly a little bit of invention added by Whitmore here and Goodison they need something clinical on the end of it all and uh, here is a chance now there was a handball there it's no goal Brown puts it in the net there was a handball there as the uh, ball hung around in the air almost Greaves came to meet it Goodison was in two the handball spotted long before David Brown put it past uh, Pollitt into the rubber and net Warren will be one on one against Edwards here and Rotherham have got two other men getting forward and still Warren goes on Berry and Ingle now in the middle and Edwards does really well he's an impressive young defender Mike Edwards Still they have to defend as the ball is launched across towards Fortune West who acrobatically goes for goal. Well that's the crispest piece of finishing we've seen in the match. And you wouldn't have known from that that Fortune West has gone five games without a goal. But uh, the ball knocked across to him there and he didn't have much time to size up his options. And it's a really good effort from Fortune West and the best save of the afternoon made by Lee Bracey as a result. Rotherham's fans giving good vocal support for their players and here's Berry just checking and turning well and going into the area good shot and palmed out by Bracey Warren was closing in on him and that's the first inkling really there of deficiencies in the whole defence Berry who's uh, able to twist and turn well hits in a hard and low shot and it really bounces off Lee Bracey's chest Warren can't get there in time for the moment it's a Rotherham free kick as we drift towards the end of the game with a Rotherham ball in here for Fortune West who spotted it has another go as well shout for handball I think the referee would take the view that the player just couldn't get out of the way so time running out for these two sides if we're going to get a goal today but it's a whole city corner driven in high Williams with the header across and a fine save by Pollitt from Brown I thought that David Brown had broke the deadlock there well delivered corner Gareth Williams rising onto it headed across and from inside the six yard area Brown's header perfectly directed and an excellent stop by Mike Pollitt well it's certainly the closest we've come to a goal good corner kick in and Williams has a good spring on him gets it well at the back post and it looked perfect for Brown to get the opening goal but Mike Pollitt denied him decent ball in might yet come Williams oh and another fine save well that's the best phase of the game and it's all come in 60 seconds first time cross in as well and it eventually came for Gareth Williams and that's two fine saves that Pollock's made and it must surely be too late for either side it is whole city's old failings have surfaced again they just cannot score goals these days Rotherham United who played the entire second half with 10 men after the dismissal of Guy Branston would settle for that final score line. At least the Reggie boys have made their mark here at Boothbury Park for the final score. Hull City nil, Rotherham United nil. Uh, it was always going to be our game here with 11, you know, so to actually come here and, and get Guy sent off, it was disappointing for us. I mean, I haven't seen it, so I don't really know, you know, whether they did kick the lad or not. But at the end of the day, you know, you could give our lads marks for the way they defended second half and really probably had one or two half chances. Yeah, uh, you're disappointed today though because that, that wasn't, you know, one of our better performances I thought. Um, effort wise the second half you couldn't have asked for any more but we just made wrong decisions in possession of the ball. Is it difficult for somebody who has played in a World Cup Finals to come and play at this level in, in England in the third division team? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that, you know. You know, um, as I said before, you, you have to just come here and show what you got, you know and move on from there. 
Well, hardly a sensational start for Hull's reggae boys, but the real talking point of the game emerged later, and it concerned Rotherham's 20-year-old defender, Guy Branston. Now, he was so angry after his dismissal at the end of the first half that he stormed straight down the tunnel, and on his way back to the dressing room, he smashed his fist through the referee's door, not realising that it had glass on the inside. Well, he was rushed to hospital with severed tendons in his arm, there's the door, and was kept in overnight.